Hey everyone and welcome back to Agape Pet Grooming. Um, I just finished for the day and I already started a little bit but I had talked to you guys about doing like a deep clean video of how I deep clean my salon. Um, it is much needed. We've done some surface cleaning and disinfecting between the dogs um, but it is due for a deep clean. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. I have the GoPro now. Um, so I thought I'd just bring you guys along so you can kind of see what that entails. Okay, so um, all I've done so far is I vacuumed up from my last dog. Um, I picked up the mats. I wiped down the mats. Um, and I have uh, taken the shampoo off the shampoo shelf and put it in here and rinsed everything down. Um, and then I disinfected the tub and rinsed it down. The tub is pretty clean because it gets disinfected um, and hosed off and cleaned between each dog. So that's pretty good. I do need to do the outside. Um, I started to do this outside, but it needs to get done again. And then the front there. So I have these rags. This one's gross. So we'll put that in the dirty. But these are just a really old towel that I had um, that was like thin. And I just cut it up into pieces to use as rags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray everything down. And this is not stainless steel cleaner, so it's gonna leave streaks, but I don't care. Um, they're gonna get watery on Tuesday anyway, so. It's also disinfectant, which is great. So everything will be disinfected as well. So. Let's spray that down. I pretty much try to wipe down every surface um, because hair accumulates everywhere. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually move this out of the way. And I'm going to take this down. I'm hoping to get a dehumidifier soon. My mom bought me, bless her heart, she bought, brought me, bought me a humidifier for Christmas. Um, so she's returning it and getting the, a dehumidifier. So hopefully that will be here in the next week or so. So. This fan I've been using to kind of sort of help blow the moisture out. I don't know if it's helping or not. I don't feel like it really is, but. I'm just gonna put this outside. And you can see on the wall where the shampoo has dripped down the wall. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Bug. Okay. I'm going to wipe this side of the tub. This tub, this side gets gross. This is a used tub. Um, I bought it secondhand when I opened. It does the job. Um, there's some corks, it, it leaks a little bit, but not a ton, not enough to spend thousands on another one. So I use this one, it works fine. Okay, and this, we're fixing that this year. Um, coming up it hasn't molded yet but it's definitely taken the the drywall off um, so we're gonna be replacing the drywall um, hopefully soon I wanted to do it before the new year but Christmas came and it was crazy so now I'm under the tub washing everything this is literally Maybe a week's worth. <laughs> That's how gross it gets. Maybe two weeks. Yeah, probably two weeks actually. <laughs> it's 
so I like to try to deep clean. I try to do it once a week, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Um, so I'm just gonna throw that one away because it's gross. Um, with Christmas being here, it definitely didn't happen. So, but that's okay, we're doing it now. And all the stuff that the dogs touch was disinfected and clean, so I'm not worried about it. This under here. I'm wiping under the tub by the drain. Well, this is just wear and tear right here. But this is like shampoo and stuff that's flown over the side. From dog shaking and stuff. This hasn't been cleaned in a while. So it's the corners of the tub that leak a little bit and then they just get covered in dog hair. Okay, so the tub is nice and clean now. I'm actually just gonna rinse this one off. thing that needs to get washed <clears throat> are these things they get like soap scum on them dirty towel so these are gonna go out so that I can wash them and then I need to wipe this thing down it just holds on my tools dry hair for my blades so then it stuck to everything okay now I'm just gonna take this paper towel because it's dry and wipe all the wet hair off This is just the U.S. General, uh, what is it, one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five, five drawer toolbox from Harbor Freight. 
in the color white. So, which is hard to find, so. Air cleaner. I have no idea what the back of this looks like. Ah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> There's never not going to be hair in here. <laughs> like, I could clean until I'm, I could clean for hours and there would still be hair. Just how it works. I'm just trying to wipe down everything so it's clean. It's a Friday, so um, I ended up with one dog today, which was fine. I needed to clean, so it gave me time to do that. Okay. Now, this needs to go out too. Give me just a second, I'm gonna go get my Swiffer. Okay, we got the Swiffer. <clears throat> this little corner collects everything, but I like it. This is my late dog Maya's ashes. Oh, that's her right there. <laughs> She's perfect. So my current dog that I have is actually her son. So that's cool. <clears throat> this had a plant in it. I planted I replanted it outside. This is a Valentine's gift from my husband. And this is a little purple ceramic dog that I made with my kids when I first opened. And he's purple like all of my stuff. So <clears throat> I'm gonna wipe down this corner because it catches a lot of hair too. And this is my driveway alarm, um, so I can hear when clients come. Whiteboard that I wipe down, or that I write the dog's names on, so I can keep track of my day. This is just storage. An e-collar I never use. <laughs> okay. That beauty that needs to be washed. Oh, and then I'm gonna take the filters out of here and wash them. That gets done multiple times a day because they get gross. Not multiple times, multiple times a week. So, oh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna use the vacuum to get the last of the hair.
just try to get as much hair out as possible. And that thing never wants to come undone. So. And then one more thing is I blow it off. Okay, so I'm sure my neighbor thinks I'm crazy. I'm cleaning my salon with a GoPro on my head, but that's okay. Anyways, um, so now I'm gonna mop Swiffer. Oh, before I started recording too, I did wipe down the table. There's one, gross. Actually gonna turn this over. I'm just run it right there again. the filters in the dryer. Now the stuff that goes in this back corner, I'm gonna put back. That thing is obnoxious, I don't know. It works, so that's all that matters. I'm dry. Put the towel slash shampoo rack back here. telling you it literally just comes from anywhere like <laughs> okay
keep picking up like a nail or something. There it is. All right, well that is basically how I deep clean the salon. Um, the tub is clean and disinfected. You can see the streaks, which it is what it is. The filters get cleaned from the air conditioning. The shampoos get cleaned. The shampoo shelf gets cleaned. My drawer gets wiped down. The shelves get wiped down. Um, uh, the mats were wiped down and dehaired as much as possible. Um, I will also put this back. This is my sweatshirt. Put this in the dirties, put that in the dirties. Um, just pick up the things that I have in here. Um, this is the camera case, so I can't leave that and organize here. my dog's ball. Anyways, thanks for watching. Got the GoPro mark on my forehead, but thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions um, about cleaning or grooming or anything, please feel free to reach out. Um, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.